this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today's lesson follows a viewer request. I was asked to do a lesson on how to play Crossroads, uh, so I've, I've kind of done my own variation on it. Um, you will need a harmonica in the key of D. We are playing in second position uh, and needless to say I have been inspired by Adam Gusso's version of this, uh, but I've simplified it slightly uh, so it's, it's more suitable for, for the advanced beginner to the intermediate player. Uh, so you heard me playing through it at the beginning uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to break it down into the, the three main licks that you're going to have and then the turnaround uh, and play them through slowly and, and talk you through what you need to do. So your first lick was... So all of this, it's all about the timing and getting the accuracy jumping from the low note to the high note. So we're jumping from the two draw up to the sixth blow. And then you're just alternating between the five draw and the sixth blow. And the timing, timing is the most important bit. Okay, nice and slowly. Three, four. And again. Okay, now really make sure that you're holding the harmonica with two hands. You notice there that I was a little bit sloppy because I didn't have my other hand to kind of keep things centered. Uh, so that's really important. Harmonica, two hands, that'll give you a good strong position. So that lick gets played four times in a row because it gets played over each of the first four bars of the 12 bar blues, which are the one, the one chord. Okay, so I'm just going to do that a little bit quicker with you. One. Two, three, four. Okay, right, let's go on to the four chord now. So the four chord, starting on the one blow, uh, and it sounds like this. So it's the same kind of melodic idea as what we played over the one chord, but we're fitting it to the four chord. Um, so, starting on the one blow, which is the root note of the four chord, one blow, four blow, and then the three draw semitone bend. And you're doing the same alternating between the three draw semitone bend and the four blow. So you've got that. Okay, and you're only doing that twice because you're doing two bars of the four chord. So let's try that together. One, two, Three, four. Make it nice and, and jumpy and staccato. Uh, you don't want to end up kind of doing... And it loses all its rhythm. So I'm enunciating with my tongue on every single note. Really make it pop. Imagine that you're Eric Clapton playing electric guitar but on harmonica, okay? Right, so when you're playing the full version, you're going to come back to the one chord. So that was... <laughs> See? Accuracy, really important. You want to get to that six blow, not the five blow. Then you come to the five chord. So this is the third lick. Same pattern again, one draw up to the four draw, four draw, four blow, four draw, four blow, four draw. Ending on a four blow. Let's do that slowly. Three, four. Okay, and then we go to the four chord. And then back to the one chord. Okay, so let's take a, a, just a, a, a couple of rounds through those three bars. So we're going from the five chord to the four chord to the one chord. Okay, I'm going to do that twice in a row because I think it's really useful for you to practice that. So one, two, three, four. Start on the five chord. Don't start on the one chord. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four.
Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we have a turnaround. Dead simple, it's just. So that's just two draw, one draw, one draw, one draw. Now to make those one draws pop out, I'm using my tongue to hit the roof of my mouth and saying ta ta. So I'm doing. Okay, and uh, just make sure that you're not pulling too hard on that and not getting kind of. If you get too aggressive with that, that tongue, you might bend the one draw. So it's just a nice light tip of the tongue. Okay, but don't pull back too hard. Okay, so that's your turnaround. Uh, okay, so you've now got all of the riffs, everything that you need. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, what you can do now is you can download uh, the tab by clicking on the link below as well as the backing track. Um, and then you can play along just like I did at the beginning. Thank you so much for watching that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you would give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. Uh, make sure that you don't miss out on any future harmonica lessons uh, by subscribing to my channel because I upload a new lesson every single Wednesday and sometimes I upload some extra ones in between. Uh, and then final thing, uh, if you feel like you could use a little bit more guidance with your harmonica playing to take it to the next level, uh, you should check out my online harmonica school. Uh, you can get all the information and find out how you can help out with that by clicking the link below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week.